Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of MAUI, uh, Microsoft MAUI controls and uh, you can say that uh, MAUI is uh, for the mobile platforms. So uh, in the last video tutorial, if you have seen my playlist that is single property binding .NET MAUI label binding. So uh, in the label binding you can say uh, here we have a label and the static resource is binding. And the static resource is actually a model. So content page dot resources by using the content page dot resources we have to bind customer that is the namespace type that models. So here we have a customer uh, that is the class and the key is the cust data and id is two and the name is smith. So just binding the label that text equals to binding name just I want to set the binding and the source is the static resource that is cust data. So, uh, if you want to multiple uh, control binding uh, using model, then what you do? Uh, then you can use uh, data context in your uh, code file right here and you can see the, your binding is uh, successful. So, so first of all make uh, comment uh, this section like that. So, just make it comment and after that we have to add these uh, three labels control text is binding with the id name and the age and in the uh, in the customer model here we have id name only so just i want to add another thing that is age <coughs> okay so here we have customer just i want to bind that customer uh, in your uh, uh, label binding dot as uh, demo dot saml dot cs so here we have just to add uh, your class file first of all add the class file right here. So here you can say that uh, add this customer uh, equals to new customer and data context sorry binding context binding context is initialized with customer okay. So now after that you can see that your uh, label binding demo with the multiple oops there is an error label binding demo okay okay it's not it's a part of this so binding context uh, label binding dot xaml so right here you can say uh, three property name age and id will be bind with this data and the data uh, will be there uh, one jacob and age is 35 okay so everything is ready now just go for the app.xaml.cs file and you can see that your main page that is label binding demo label binding demo everything is clear now uh, your emulator is running now or not so first of all check yes everything is ready and now just go for your emulator or you can say that run this uh, on your windows machine also and you will see that your output on windows machine as well as your uh, mobile screen so uh, where uh, <coughs> you know that uh, MAUI actually uh, bind the uh, bind the multiple uh, controls right time and you will see that by by using the binding context you will uh, bind the uh, multiple property right here you can say one Jacob and 35 so everything is clear now uh, this is the multiple uh, data binding right here okay so everything is clear now uh, just after when the static resource binding is uh, clear now if you want to bind the uh, one control to another control then you can do for uh, in your <coughs> data binding process like here so just make it comment first of all and you can see and uh, label is uh, actually binding with the label uh, just I want to text right here label text is hello uh, hello world and just rotation is uh, I want to bind binding uh, with the rotation value so uh, and the binding is the slider control right here so you can use slider just after that slider okay so minimum in the slider that is 0 and maximum of the slider is 100 or you can say that 360 
okay so slider uh, that's name of the slider that's color name slider one okay and in the label control the binding is performed by the source and the source is binding x colon reference <coughs> reference that is slider one and you can say that also set the path and that is value path i mean to say that uh, that is the value is assigned to the rotation so here we have now the label text is right here that is the hello world so just you can bind the uh, binding between the uh, controls you can do in the maui so wait for some times i will show you uh, the outputs between the two controls that is vertical option horizontal options so here we have a hello world and you can see that when we like that your hello world will be moved okay and you will see that horizontal option is end uh, horizontal option is center and expand and the vertical option is center and expand and the output will be go for like this here we have okay so here we have your mm, tax is rotate according to the slider so this is the binding between the controls so this is called uh, binding between controls so here we have a uh, label text rotate according to the slider so binding between the controls and here we have a multiple binding with the binding context so you can use binding with the directly name property because the binding context actually initializes after initializer okay so here we have the source property uh, inside the binding uh, here we have some uh, path is also value so binding between the controls is a good example between the bindings uh, so just now i'm going to discuss about binding between the controls but uh, also with the uh, mode property so here we have an example stack layout vertical option is center and horizontal option is also centered here we have two entry controls and the binding is performed between the source here we have a source control source entry control where the text is youtube channel and the text is binding and the another uh, control that is the target control source is x reference that is the first name okay so here we have a similar like that so here we have x reference is the first name that is the name so this is the source control and the path is the text okay so mode is default and what is the mode is default so uh, mode is the first time i mean to say that in the first time you can say uh, that is first one time okay one time i mean to say that you can say uh, the source control have some text then uh, target control the same text will display like youtube channel in the youtube channel but if you ch something change in the source control then there is a no effect in the target control looking like that you can see <coughs> so uh, that is the one time uh, data source binding and two times data binding means when we change in the source control then uh, changes will be uh, occurs in the target control also so here we have a youtube channel but uh, here we have something like that there is nothing so if you change something like that two way binding equals to two way okay so the source control will be reflected also yeah like that okay but if it's something changes in the target control then you will see that source control is also uh, reflected so that is the two way and one way to source i mean to say that uh, only changes in the source control in the target control the source will be affected also you can say that okay so if we change in the target that source will be affected also so that is the one way to source okay so thank you guys for watching this video 
in which uh, in the maui control you will learn more about uh, how to design app in maui and you will uh, better learn from afc.net core my channel and if you like this video please share this and also uh, hit the bell icon thank you very much